So what's this map method? The map method creates a new array from calling a function for every array element. So what I mean by that is, for example, I have this norms array here, and in this array, I have various elements. And what this map method will do is it will iterate over each and every element of this array and apply a function to every element. That function can be anything. For example, it can multiply every element by two, or it can take a square root of every element. It can be anything. And it can be either an arrow function or an anonymous function or just a regular function. So let's say now that uh, we want to find out all the square roots of all these numbers in this nums array. So the way we can do that with the map function is I'll define a variable sqrts and set it equal to nums.map. And in here, we need to pass in that function that's going to be applied on every element. So in this case, we want to apply a square root function to every element. So I'll say math.sqrt. And if we console log it now, run the code, you can see this is the output of the code and it's the square root of every element of our original array. And it's an array itself as well. So just to check the square root of four is two. You can see it's giving us two and the square root of 16 is four. You can see the last element of this output array is four. So it's working perfectly. Now let's say instead of finding the square roots, let's say we want to multiply every element by two. So the way we can do that is we can say cons, let's name it doubles because we are doubling every element. So let's say nums.map. And here we can now pass in an anonymous function. So function num, and in here we can return num multiplied by two. So if we, let's name it doubles, not double. So now if we console log the doubles, run the code, you can see now we are getting a brand new array and it is the double of every element of our original array. So the four has been multiplied by two, we get eight. Six has been multiplied by two, we are getting 12. So I hope you now got a gist of how this map function works. Now let's move on to some more complicated examples. Let's say now that you have this nums array and you want to render this nums array on an HTML page as an ordered list or as an unordered list, however the way you like. What you can do is you can take this nums array run a map method on it and append the list item to each and every number. Let me show you how to do that. So I can say const list set it equal to nums.map, pass in an anonymous function, pass in the num as an argument, and let's go inside this anonymous function. And in here, what we can do is we can say return the list element and append the num to it, just like this. And if I console log the list now let's see what we get so now you can see we are getting back the array and you can see the list tag the list html tag has been appended to each and every element of our original array so now if you want to render this out on your html document what you can do is you can use the join function and make a string out of this array and you can then render it out on your html document now let's say our array looks something like this. We have an array named people, and inside this array, we have objects. And inside every object, we have a first name, the last name, and an age. Now, what we wanna do here is we want to get back an array, but that array should only have the full names of every person in this people array. So what we can do is we can define const full names array and set it equal to people.map. And in here, this time, let's pass in an arrow function. So I'll call it a person arrow. Then we can return. What we can return here is we can return the person dot first, and then we can append a space in between, then append the person dot last. That's it. So if we console log it now, full names from the code, you can see now we are getting an array and it's containing full names of every person that was inside this people array. For example, you can see this Jon Snow, Arya Stark, Harry Potter, and so on. So yeah, this is how you can do it as well. 
Let's take another example. This time we have two arrays. The first one is the age of students. It contains all the ages of a student. And the second array is the name of all the students. What we want to do is we want to create an array of objects which contain the name detail of the student and also the age detail of student. So the way we can do that is we can come here and say const students equals to now here we can as the length of both the arrays is same we can take any array and apply a map function on it so i'm going to take the ages dot map and this time we are not only going to define the age we are also going to define an index as well and we are going to define it as an arrow function and in here what we need to do is we first need to get the name from the names array so I can say const name equals to names and pass in the index. So this will fetch the name from the names array at the current index. So finally, what we can do is we can return an array. And finally, we can return an object, define the name and set it equal to the name and then define the age and set it equal to age. And if we console log the students, array now let's see what we are getting so you can see we now got an array of objects we have the name property set it uh, equal to john the age property equal to 16 and so on so i think this is it for this video i hope you learned something new from this video if you really learned something and if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions you can comment down below do subscribe to this channel it keeps me motivated for creating more content like this i'll see you in the next one till then peace out